Hello everyone. This is Lori from Grammy's Keepsakes and I'm coming to you today with a tutorial. Here's a, the finished product. It's a little um, envelope notebook. It has tea stained paper in it and more journaling cards that come out the top of the envelope. And I'm going to show you how to make that today. I use a greeting card envelope and then I glue it shut. I don't use the um, adhesive that's on the envelope because I don't think it'll stay. Past experience tells me that it's not a good idea. And I'm just using my art glitter glue that dries clear and seal it shut. Now what I'm going to do is fold it in half and crease it with my bone folder so that I have the closures in the back or the outside. And now I measure up. You can use any size envelope that you have, but I just measured and I cut off the top so that my envelope looks like this. And then measure your envelope and you want to, this one happens to be five and a half. You can just eyeball it. You don't need to measure it, but cut your paper about an eighth of an inch or so narrower. And so I just cut another piece of tea stained paper. And so I have two pieces. I'm folding it in half. creasing it down, and then see how it fits. Okay, so I need to trim that off, and you want it to be just inside the edge. So you want to trim that off, and I have one here ready to go, and then I just went ahead and stitched down the center so that I have it. And now I have a piece of tea stained paper that I just used my script stamp on and I tore the edges of the paper. I'm going to go ahead and glue that on. Right to the front part. This is an insert that I'm putting in my botanical book that I'm making, my new journal. And then I just use my bone folder and press it down. So there's my background. And for my image that I'm going to use, see here I've used I have Tracy Fox's Remin Reminiscence um, Ephemera Pack. Beautiful pages, beautiful images. And I've used these in the journal that I'm making. But you get five pages of gorgeous, luscious ephemera. All you do is cut it out and use it. So the image that I've chosen here is this little baby, the little butterfly on there. And I've cut it out and I've inked the edges with my um, Vintage Photo Distress ink. Double check. So 
so much fun to see people use their ink tools, right? Okay, that is going to be gorgeous. I'm going to glue the back of it. Now, I have a laser printer, and I do use um, a heavyweight laser paper. But I want to use my Fabri-Tac because I don't want any ridges to show. With a laser printer, you tend to get a semi-sheen uh, finish on your printing. And if you have any ridges from your glue, it could show up with a glare. And so I like to use the Fabri-Tac for that because it is more gel and it smooths out nice. Now what it would be nice is this could this edge of this image could be torn also for a nice little finish, couldn't it? But now we need to have the cards that are going to fit in our pockets. So I have measured some 65 pound cardstock and just to fit inside like that. And I have two of them. And we're going to put the tab tops on it. If I can find them. I'm going to put this aside, well, almost aside. I We have to find out where I want the, got a little bit of glue ooze there. Use my adhe adhesive er eraser and get rid of that before it gets to be trouble. Okay. So much easier to remove before it's completely dry. There we go. Shows up in the in the glare of the light. Okay, so now we want to determine where we want our tabs to be. And I have cut out two of them. I've used the other two already. See, down here on the bottom of this page two, it has the tabs. And so I just cut them out folded them and inked them up. And so, there we go. Let's put it right there. So I want to place it. I open it up. I put my glue on the side. Fold it over, get it in place. I use my tweezers for everything. It just helps me grab. The arthritis doesn't always want to play nice. And then I flip it over and put glue on this side. And now we have a journaling card, or you can put photos. Now we need another one. And we're going to put that one in the back envelope. And pull it out a little bit so I can see the placement. Where do I want my tab? And which side do I want? You can have them so that they line up, of course, but I want them to be next to each other. So I'm going to pull it out, line it up, open. A little bit of glue.
place it. Flip it over. And press it down. Isn't that cute? I just love it. Okay, and now we have the workings on the back, and they're not, it's not bad, but you see the envelope. And so what I've done is I've cut another card. And so we can journal on that as well. So we just need to glue it down. And then it looks more finished. There we go. I love it. And now it feels more substantial too. And you can journal on the inside. You could put more papers to cover this as well, but this color is going to go with my journal really nice. And so I'm going to leave it just like that. And so now we have journaling space. And I can pop in one of the pockets of my, this is the journal I'm working on. I just love it. This one's going to go in here. And I believe the pocket is right here. Back, back here somewhere, right? There we go. Isn't that great? I love it. I will be finishing this journal up and I will be coming with a um, walk through or a final flip through of this one. I've used the entire collection of the um, Reminiscence by Tracy Fox, the ephemera pack in with to complement the tea dyed papers that I made. And it was so much fun using it. And thank you so much for watching.